Hi everyone, my name is Sundar. I am the VP of products at Cisco App Dynamics. I lead product management for the Cisco FSO platform and our cloud native observability solutions. With me today is Raju from Cloud Fabrics. Firstly, thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks for joining us. Thanks uh, for having me. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about yourself and also about your company? Okay. And I'm Raju Penwatsa. I own uh, vision and strategy for Cloud Fabrics. All right. And what we focus in is data automation, hybrid data automation for different applications, and AIOps is our focus, and we are about a uh, six, seven year old company. Nice, very good, cool. very good. Cool. That strategist, I have always wanted to have that role strategist, I've never managed to work up to it. I'll get there, someday I will get there. <laughs> Sounds like a really, really cool title. Okay. Um, so you're one of the first people to have seen and built something on the Cisco FSO platform, and you've built a vSphere observability module. Tell me, tell me a lot more about that module. What does it do? What's the use case? What are the what customers are you targeting? Okay, and the first and foremost, an FSO platform done a really good job of extend, allowing us to extend the platform. Mm -hmm. And before that extensibility, you have you're focusing on a cloud native applications is the first citizen of FSO platform. Yep. If you go to the customers today, and most of them are hybrid, mm -hmm. and that's where we felt. As a first module, we bring the vSphere into the FSO platform by using the extensibility of the FSO and to make them as a first class citizens in FSO. Excellent. And what does that mean is basically you get the uh, infrastructure underneath your application, mm -hmm. bring it into the FSO, yep. and Cloud Fabrics collects that information and translates into hotel signals and puts into the FSO. While is that simple? In a way, it is a little complex than that one. Uh -huh. And you collect the information and you enrich the data, you establish the relations, mm -hmm. and you build that entire topology and putting it to the FSO. That's what we were trying to do with that module. Beautiful. Or what we did. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, I've seen sneak reviews of the module, I've seen demos of it, and they look, it look awesome. The thing that I love the most is what you just called out. The idea of being able to connect the cloud native world with the private cloud world. Being able to show that correlation between the Kubernetes containers running on a vSphere VM is beautiful. Lots and lots of customers in the world are exactly doing that, and being able to see that connection is really, really good. How did the platform kind of help you build that correlation? And because as I said earlier, when we gave that extensibility in the platform, mm -hmm. and we took that uh, information, and we spent some amount of time, and a lot of people think, is this a work of months effort? No, it is a week's effort. Very and cool. the first module to be developed, we took about four to six weeks nice. of the vSphere, what you are seeing. Mm -hmm. When we say, when we built, and what is this giving to the customer? When they are running the business, mm -hmm. and you're doing the application, application underneath infrastructure. If a service is impacted, what business is impacted, somebody else is focusing in, yep. but that is connected to a underlying infrastructure. That's Absolutely. what we are showing, which VM it is running, which cluster it is running, which ESX host it is running, and what is the impact of it. Very cool, very cool. So, I hear that within Cloud Fabrics, you, guys, you are defining this category and you're also operating this category called RDA. Talk to me about RDA, what can it do for users? Basically, RDA is robotic data automation mm -hmm. fabric, mm -hmm. and as I said in our beginning, which enables ingest any type of data mm -hmm. into us in the hybrid world, yeah. and establish that relationships with the enrichment and dependencies and application dependency, and that eventually or virtually we can do any part of the uh, of the application or any part of the infrastructure. We are not bound by just vSphere, vSphere mm -hmm. is the first example we Absolutely. have done. Absolutely, and so the platform itself gives a couple of things, right? It gives, it gets data in an open telemetry format. In addition, it allows metrics, events, logs, and trace data to come in. How do you use these uh, capabilities as part of your current module, as well as what's part of your roadmap in leveraging these things? Okay, and FSO, as you rightfully said, you expect the open telemetry data. And in case of vSphere, and we collected the non-open telemetry data, and RDAF Edge is the one, we call it as RDA Edge, mm -hmm. and it converts that into open telemetry signals and puts into the FSO platform. Beautiful. When you put it, what it also consists of, the entire application dependency of those, which VM tied to, which ESX host, which cluster, and all of those things. Yeah, 
And that's a tough problem, right? Users today struggle with application dependency map at every layer. Within our product and within the platform itself, you get the service level application dependency out of the box. But to be able to leverage the topology that you all are able to build and kind of seamlessly synthesize that into a single user experience for the, for the user is tremendous. It's great to hear that you are able to leverage something like that. That is absolutely, that's what we call it as a cohesively looking at the entire application is like a single application. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Um, so tell me this, it's an early stage platform. It, thank you for being a launch partner with us. Um, yeah, I've built multiple platforms in my past experience. How easy is it and how long did it take for you all to start gaining knowledge about the platform? How easy was it for you to build the platform? Okay, I'll put it in this context. If you were to take your past experiences, something like this will take about six to 12 months to build. Yeah. And historically, you can refer to various things. And what we had done in six weeks is possible because of the platform given the ability to do extend the um, entities as well as the um, extensibility. How did we do it? As like any other platform in the beginning, we need to understand those things. And that understanding took us probably a few weeks more than what we wanted to do. That's why it took three to four to six weeks. Now, we are in a much better position. We could do some of these roadmap items. In a few weeks, we should be able to churn that one a lot faster. And if you were to ask something, what I would say is, probably the developer tools are something if you could put it in and you can enable a lot of us to do a lot faster things. Absolutely, actually that's a great call out. And thank you for giving that feedback, right? It's very important for us to get candid feedback like this, especially from early stage partners. And you're right, developer tooling is a big focus area for the platform in its near term roadmap. For a few reasons, right? As you rightly pointed out, the richness that modeling allows you to do is really, really great in terms of out-of-the-box modeling and entity uh, relationships, but showing the users and developers as they bring data in, how those relationships evolve is extremely powerful. So we have a set of tools around melt exploration and schema browsing for that particular use case. More importantly, we are also starting to build an entire set of a developer exchange such that solution developers can get access to information both from a documentation and reference examples, but also these kinds of tools. Yeah, I don't expect anything shorter from your end because yeah, like any other platform it evolves, that is a really good steps to going forward to make uh, developer partners life easier. Yeah. Um, so, vSphere is a great example, but if you were to kind of step back and think broadly about if you were a solution developer for any different use cases on the FSO platform, what would your kind of advice be, message be for other solution developers who are planning to build on this platform? See, there are two, types, two sides of it, right? And getting the data into the platform is one aspect of it, yeah. and building the apps on top of it. And you're focusing in cloud native and hybrid if the data is coming through, and the apps building on top of it is mm -hmm. infinite. Yep. That's where it is going to be a huge opportunity for many uh -huh. of the development partners. Today, we might be using two, three, four use cases if we have the data, and it explodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually interesting that you say this. Um, today, we are, as part of this, Cisco internally has also been using the platform. We released kind of cloud native application absorbity or AppD Cloud last year, right? And we built the platform, the nucleus of the platform as part of it. So we've been drinking our champagne for the last year. But as part of this launch, we also took the opportunity to actually add a few more modules, right? We are launching application resource optimization as well as kind of cost optimization as part of this. We took pretty much the same journey that you all took in some ways, the very teams that we built, they are actually came from acquisitions. We acquired two companies in the last year and they behaved very much like external third party partners so that they actually went through the pains and the tribulations as well as we got the feedback so that we could make the platform better. So it's actually great to hear that you say this. Where we want to go honestly is where we could help partners like you all build on solutions that other solutions build. So for example, as we generate cost insights, there's something that you can do, or if those cost insights can go deeper into vSphere. Or if other partners can build solutions which you all can work with, that would be tremendous. That's kind of our vision. Would that be great? Would, would that be something valuable for you all? That's a great vision, and um, we need to see the results going forward. Yep, very cool, very cool. All right, this was absolutely terrific. Thanks a lot. Any Thank last you. closing thoughts uh, about this? It's a pleasure working with your teams and uh, normally when you come to a bigger company, you expect a slow response, but this is not at all. And uh, it's great to have uh, be here with you. We are really excited to be part of it.
Happy to hear that. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Cheers.